I had my best flight ever with my Super 30 P30 rubber model that has single channel RC. The RC equipment came out of a UMX Radian. You can see it in the back of the fuselage. And I was using this thermal detector that I had been given. And I'm not just sure if that did the trick, but I did pick a really good thermal here. And I had a flight that lasted about three minutes. I say lasted three minutes. I brought it down at the end there because it was going up really high and I was afraid I would lose it. The wind was pretty calm today, but there were those gusts, probably from thermals. One other time, I let it get in a thermal and the wind came up and it flew off the field and landed on top of a garage. So I didn't want that to happen again. So that's why I brought it down after about uh, two and a half minutes or so. It, it took it a while to come down as I circled on the way down. So this plane, it's the Super 30, which was designed by Lee Campbell, but the kit comes from Retro RC, Mark Freeland. And I just put this RC in to start with after watching the videos from the Do More Math guy and uh, planning to put uh, a DT and fly completely free flight at some point, but I've been having a lot of fun with it this way. I started taking some pictures with my cell phone and video just in case I didn't get my GoPro started, but luckily I did. It gets pretty tiny in the video, so you're going to have to watch this on a pretty large monitor to, to be able to see it. I'm constantly blocking the sun because here a few days ago I lost uh, an RC glider in the sun. I just I blocked the sun and then I couldn't see the glider again and it crashed. Uh, it's been repaired and been flying since then, but don't want that to happen again. It can happen pretty easy where you, you're temporarily blinded and then, then it's flying off in the distance somewhere. I want to try putting the single channel RC in a little bit larger rubber model too and see how that works. I would think it would work even better where you have a, a folding propeller and a little bit larger model to uh, carry the weight of the radio equipment. Well, hopefully you're not getting too bored watching this long flight, but I wanted to show it in its entirety to prove that it did indeed fly this long. I thought this was pretty amazing and uh, I, I think if I wouldn't have intervened uh, eventually it would have you know climbed out of sight 